G'day and welcome to another episode of Beating Around the Bush with Bobby. Today I've got with me Aaron Finch and Aiden Blizzard, probably two of the most popular members in the in the squad. Uh, and, you, and you're coming off 80 odd couple of games ago against Tassie. Uh, that was a, a very good knock, mate. And, uh, and how are you feeling after that? It was a good feeling. Yeah, it was a great feeling. It's obviously good every time you get some runs for Victoria. And uh, it was just obviously a bit different. Hodgy or Huss or Whitey not getting all the runs. So. Or Bobby, yeah. And Bobby Corny, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a great feeling. Something that that I'll remember for a long time. Now, please, um, I, I personally think you've hit the biggest six in 2020 history. Um, do you agree? Yes. Uh, do you get sick of talking about it? I do actually, cause, but there's not really much else to talk about at the moment, so uh, I don't mind talking about it. For you to hit all those big sixes, you must have a, a very big bat. Is that right? My bat is quite large. Um, the the bat maker Gray Nichols has been very good, and uh, they're making big bats for me. Looking around the change rooms, uh, looking at everyone else's bats, I reckon you've clearly got the biggest bat in the, in the team and, and probably the squad. So, um, you, people at Grey Nichols are obviously looking after you down there. Yeah, I've been with the company for uh, quite a few years. So, uh, it did, you get little bats to start off with and then uh, as you move forward in your career, you get bigger bats. Uh, outside of cricket, mate, what do you get up to? Are you a bit of a surfer? Yeah, I like to surf. I like to try. A um, couple of us go down every now and then. You any good? Uh... If I say yes, you'd probably have to hasto tax it, and um, that would probably come out as a no. So, no, I'm not great at it, but I do like to get out there and have a bit of a paddle. Are you better than the Squid McKay? The Squid McKay is quite a good surfer. However, he does need to lose a little bit of that flapping, floppy sort of the stuff. The loose skin? Yeah, loose skin. Uh, if he lost that, he could, would, would rival probably a Mick Fanning or even a Mark Opelukalupo. I reckon you, you look like a white Mike Tyson. Do you get that much? I have been. I have heard that around the traps a little bit. I don't know. I don't know where that's come from. Obviously, uh, I don't think my head's as bad as his, or, or my body's as good as his. But uh, I, I, I got no idea where that comes from. But yeah, it's a compliment. He's a world champion, and hopefully, <laughs> so can, yeah. <laughs> can you take your tooth out and so, so just show the people if, if you do look like him? What do you mean? <laughs> can you take your tooth out, please? I don't have a false tooth. There's also been talk around the squad um, of, of you maybe having a sparring session with, with Michael Hill. Is, is this true? I wouldn't call it a sparring session that's been planned. I'd say it's just a genuine box on, which, uh, which he's been putting off for, for about a month now. He's, uh, I can't seem to get him in the ring. I, wanna, I want to any time soon, but he keeps, he keeps complaining that he can't find any headgear around. But uh, when you've got a head like his, I reckon he doesn't really need any. Now, lads, I'll, uh, I'll finish now with, with six questions each for you. <coughs> and uh, just a quick answer would be nice. Um, One word or? No, nah, as, many, as many words as you'd like. Yeah, as long as it's quick. As, as, as long as it's quick. Uh, what animal do you resemble? Probably a bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't have the, I don't have the best looking head. Or... <laughs> no arguments there. Please? Uh, it's between two. It's a, a polar bear or a Labrador. Labrador, all right, all right. You're you pretty. Just ask for one answer, mate. Not, no, not, not two. <laughs> Fair enough. So you're a, you're a polar door. <laughs> a polar door. <laughs> a polar door. So you're a polar door. If you had twenty million dollars, one, what would you do with it? And two, would you still play cricket? No, I wouldn't be playing cricket. I'd, I'd invest <laughs> it and and uh, and probably live the lifestyle a little bit more. Nice one, please. Uh, I'd play twenty twenty cricket, and that'd be it. And I don't know what I'd do with it, to be honest. Favorite movie. Uh, the Hangover. Okay, nice, Finches nice. I like that. that. Yeah, 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 the white I'm in that too. The white Finch. I'll come out of the. I'll come out of the boot. <laughs> <laughs> Finchy. Uh, I think one of the old favourites, Anchorman. I don't think you can really go past any Will Ferrell movie. Look, if if it weren't for cricket, what would you reckon you'd be doing? I think I'd probably be a professional golfer. Uh, not by, not by my golf skills, but that's just what I want to do. Uh, I don't know, mate. Probably a scientist or. A, or a surgeon or something like that. Engineer? Yeah, anything. Obviously, you need a high IQ for them, which yeah. suits me down to the ground. Yeah, no, definitely, I agree. Totally agree. Yourself, Liz? Uh, I'd probably be scumming off my dad in the jewellery shop. Uh, probably maybe selling a few diamonds here and there, but I'm not sure what else. Yeah, maybe, right. yeah, I'll get a plug in for Blizzard's finejewelers.com.au. Who's the most annoying teammate? Uh, and why? I can't really say you. I reckon that's a little bit unfair. I used to be. Yeah, you used to be, but you've really matured of late. It's a tough one. Obviously, there's there's a lot of good blokes, and there's also some some stinkers. With uh, with Hilly being number one on the list, I think he's probably my, my most disliked teammate. Uh, but I think yeah, he'd probably be one of the worst. 
you. No worries. Um, there's definitely some passion there. So, uh, look, thanks, guys, for your time. Appreciate it. Um, and that's it for, for this edition of Betting Around the Bush with Bobby. And uh, thanks, mate. And uh, we'll catch you next episode.